I'm angry and I'm hurt and I'm scared. And I'm waiting for it to be nighttime so that I can go to sleep and not deal with cooties. Mm -hmm. And I'm recording. And I know it sounds bad. I'm using a cheap old headset. Somebody bought me a nice gaming headset, but it was constructed so poorly that um, something has happened to it. And the only way I could take it apart because it's glued and molded together is to break it open to fix it. And my vision is bad, and I've had some really important, like life is too important to mess with this stuff now, things to deal with. So I um, have not dealt with a gaming headset. So that's why you're not hearing anything in stereo, and that's why there's so much hiss. Also, this headset is supposed to have a windsock on it uh, to keep breath noises and popping peas and stuff from happening. And I don't know where the windsock is. It fell off, and I can't find it to put it back on. So I'm faking this. So can I go to bed yet? 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 So I'm angry and I'm hurt and I'm scared and uh, I'll talk to you about it after I go to sleep. I never make videos when I'm angry. Not on this channel. I did on my other one, but not on this one. But this is Granny Raw. I can do whatever I want. So there. And the mushrooms can just stare at me. Okay, now the first thing is I'm not wearing a shirt. Uh, right. Did I get the iron? Yeah. So here's what's up. I'm living in a parking lot in a broken down travel trailer. I don't have running water because the pipes froze because the previous owner didn't know how to take care of it. And they left water in the pipes and winter came and the pipes froze and they split. Um, the sewage is funky, mostly because I didn't realize it because I have skirting around it to try to keep it warm in here. It does not get warm in here getting in your pants. Um, in fact, this winter I got frostbite six times. I need to adjust my settings because I have a feeling the sounds are too loud. Dinnerbone, you need to fix this weather bug because weather is just, it, if you have it at 2% or whatever, it still sounds full blast when there's thunder. So that's no good. Okay, so I'm living in this parking lot. Look where all the chickens ended up down here. Oh, I'm sorry, you guys. And I don't have adequate heat. So I get frostbite. And in the summer, because this is a high desert, where there's less atmosphere up here. It's like 5,000 feet, 7,000 feet. Oh, good. They're fighting with each other. That's a big help. Please do that. Um... So, in the summer, it's brutal, brutal hot because we're closer to the sun without enough atmosphere in between us. And in the winter, it's brutal, brutal cold because we're closer to outer space with not enough air, atmosphere, to protect us from the cold of outer space. And it's pretty dry here, too, so there aren't even clouds and stuff, so, you know. Um, so, I've gotten frostbite six times this winter because they just have a little space heater. Uh, my neighbor next door, who is who was a friend of the landlord, uh, messed up my propane lines and broke my refrigerator and messed up my gasoline-powered bicycle. So I have to get around town by driving my truck, even though I'd rather ride my bike. And uh, because it's a lot cheaper, and then I could sell the truck and move out of here. Uh, uh, I live without a lot. I uh, run out of money for food at the end of the month. My food stamps is $90 a month. There are no jobs here. Uh, and they certainly aren't going to hire me because I have disabilities and I'm an outsider and so on. That's why I'm working so hard on the uh, Minecraft stuff is because I think it really is a way out of poverty. I think it is. I have bad equipment and even little kids who don't know anything about anything, know that you're supposed to have a slick sound system and recording equipment and stuff to make you tubes and you know all the professional specs because the professionals have made sure they know them so that they will look down on people like me 
who can't afford all the fancy equipment. So it cuts down on the competition for the fancy YouTubers. So, anyway. So the reason I'm angry is this. I'll try to put a picture of her at the end of this video. I found a puppy on the freeway, on the interstate. I live on the main interstate that goes across the continent of the United States. And it was out there for two days. The only reason I knew that is because I saw it out there the first day and my other dog, Weasel, was trying to tell me that that dog was outside the fence running around. I thought she was inside the fence. I thought she belonged to somebody in the trailer park. So I made Weasel come back. The next day, the puppy was still running around by the fence and crying. It was outside the fence trying to get in. It was terrified, but it was so desperate to get out of there that she let me pick her up over the fence and bring her onto the property. Um, she was uh, emaciated. She was very hungry. You know, puppies are supposed to have tummies, right? You know, little pot belly tummies. Not this dog. She was... Her skin was all wrinkly around her tummy, and her hips were sticking out, and her ribs were sticking out, and she uh, she had diarrhea real bad, and she was extremely dehydrated, so I gave her water, and mostly what she did was drink and sleep the first day I got her. Um, she's been here for about two weeks, I guess, and I've been slowly training her. She's terrified of people every time I lift my hand up. She thought I was going to hit her. Um, she's terrified she's going to get hit. Um, the saddest little puppy you ever saw hiding all the time. Well, since she's been living with me, she's loosened up a lot. And um, she's starting to uh, have confidence now and know that people aren't going to necessarily hurt her. What am I trying to put away? Cobblestone. I don't remember where storage chests are on this one. I'm sorry. Um... So she was coming along really well and starting to really perk up and start acting like a puppy, you know. You guys know where I put my cobblestone? There it is. And apparently I accidentally put dirt in my cobblestone. Well, yesterday, the landlady came over and said, You've got our dog. The last thing I wanted was to have the landlord's dog. He's a very dangerous man. And either he has people in this town fooled or the people in this town know what he is and just look the other way because they're getting some kind of benefits from him. Um, so he's really dangerous to me and he doesn't like me because I'm honest. A lot of people don't like me for that reason. Um, so I was scared to death and she wanted her puppy back and I brought the puppy over. The puppy has finally got to the point where when she sees me coming, instead of running from me and hiding underneath something, she would actually come to me and wag her tail and stuff. So I brought the puppy over in a bag of toys because the puppy had discovered my little ponies that I had for a little art project I was doing and loved to drag around my little ponies and pull their hair out. So I brought the toys over and I tried to describe to the woman the medical condition of the dog and the mental health condition of the dog because the dog was so scared and stuff. All she said was, well, stop scaring the dog. I'm not going to cry. She didn't care anything about the medical condition. She didn't even listen. The dog had diarrhea real bad was dehydrated real bad. I said I gave her over-the-counter worm medicine, but I think she's going to need to go to a veterinarian. It's It stabilizes sometimes, but sometimes the dog is really sick. She couldn't have cared less. She just wanted her property, her toy back. You know what I mean? Put the dog in a kennel, and uh, with it has a sister. Now, the day I went over to pay my rent, they live across the street from me, um, is that a chicken in a chest? Yep, kind of. So I went over to ask her about something, and the dog is in a kennel with her sister. And they were playing. I was like, oh, great, because Weasel's an old man and kind of little and delicate. And she's a big, rambunctious puppy. And, you know, I, I figured, oh, she'll be better off with a dog her own size and a sibling, too, you know. So, uh... I thought, oh, good, well, the dog has got her sister, so it'll be okay. Um, and I talked to the landlady, and then I said, 
may I go say hi to the dog? And she said, no, you may not. Oh, I forgot I did all this already. I need carrots. Why don't I have carrots? So I wasn't allowed to go see the dog. Well, by this time, the dog had figured out I was there and was looking at me. You know, she has a sister now to play with. She hasn't had anybody her own size to play with since she's been living with me. Cats won't play with her. Weasel won't play with her. I try to play with her, but she's too scared of people, you know. So she had stopped playing with her own sister and was looking through the chain link at me like, you are going to take me with you, aren't you? And I tried not to make eye contact, and I walked down the driveway and started to walk back toward the trailer, the RV park, and she started crying at the top of her lungs, howling because I was walking off and leaving her. But that's my landlord, and he's screaming at me all the time because... He's in trouble with his insurance company because this place is so filthy. They took pictures of all the mess and said, you have to clean this up or you're not going to be able to insure this property. And that'll be a source of income and he'll never sell this place. Because it's, it was such, it, it, he got some people to clean up a little bit, but it's still awful. Well, he's screaming at me because he has to work. And I want to film a vlog from my yard, but right now I'm busy working on it. And I can't, but I want you to see how I live. Um, so he's been screaming at me and threatening me. He's threatening to bring in a trailer and haul off my things uh, and junk like that. Um, I have found out since then that that is considered elder abuse. When you pick on old people so that you can exploit them for their money or, you know... So I'm scared and I'm angry and I'm hurt and I want to do Minecraft and I don't know if I can because how am I going to pay for the server and I need to move out and I'm working on that. I'll tell you more about that. Um, but that's what's going on and I needed to talk to you and let you know I need moral support and I need people to be supportive. I'll be playing on servers soon. My internet's really hinky tonight, so that's why I'm playing the single player world. But I'll be playing uh, Nirishar, Char, and I'll be playing on Utopia in the future and posting on their um, engine pages so you guys can see them. I need support and friendship and um, sane people to talk to because this is really, really painful and hard and scary so thank you for watching mm. bye